Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and I'm here with episode 34 of Saints Row 2. In the previous episode, we picked up a few stun drums on the Northern Island. We completed the drug trafficking activity for the final time with Luth in the Hotels and Marina District. And we finished off by purchasing and fully upgrading the Downtown Loft. I think it was what it was called. Let's just have a check. It was indeed. Now, I've made my way over to the Fret Row um, University Loft. And just because it's quite close to our... Next mission, or the final Brotherhood mission. Um, what we need to do is we need to access our wardrobe. We need to go to outfits and remove all current clothing. You see, we look a bit, look a bit of, um, a bit of a numpty. <laughs> but what we are going to do is we are going to do the streaking activity. So it says show off your goods for cash. Basically, what we need to do oh. is go around. Doing exactly that. Now I think there are ten levels of this, if I'm not mistaken. So similar, like similar to how I did the drive-by diversion, I'm just going to cut to level ten. So I'll see you guys there. Oh, there's only 8 levels. I thought it would have been 10 levels. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I hope that kind of explains why there was no commentary of that last level there. I was just like, wait till level 10, that's when you set the commentary. And that was pretty easy. <sighs> Good to say, people texting me all the time. You know, I'm just so popular. Yeah, it's my mother. Don't do it, they're not popular. Um, right. Let's get ourselves dressed again. Adios. Right, people. Out of the way. Out of the way. We want the bowler hat back. I wear one tab. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, yeah, we are wearing them. Never mind. Uh, undershirts. We want basic tee. Over shirts. You want this one. No. I'm going to talk to unbuttoned. Yes. Coats, no. Underwear, obviously, I want these tighty whiteies. Pants. <clears throat> want these. Shoes. Um, dress shoes, what we want. Socks. Short socks, belt, large square buckle belt. Yeah, we've done that. Hang on. Wait. No, that's right. It's because we weren't wearing pants and they were just kind of like. Because <clears throat> we were wearing pants, it had nothing to tuck into. And I think that's everything. Is it? Yeah, it's tattoos. Um, alright. All dressed up. Very nice. Um, can we go back down, please? My girlfriend's got a Jesus H. Christ! Okay, right, so let's get out our Phoenix. And we're going to do the final mission in the Brotherhood storyline, which is a showdown. Aptly named, as Marrow did actually call us, telling him to meet him. At the university, uh, not the uh, at the um, arena. I mean. So, it's time to finally put an end to his devious schemes, and that'll knock us down to just us and the Ronin and Altar. Well, it says a gang, so it's just us and the Ronin. So we should have the majority of Stillwater under our belt then. 
make sense. And here we are. So let's do it. Time to take on Mero. I'm surprised you have the balls to come alone. I never said I'd be alone. A little shit. What an absolute coward. Fine. If that's the game that you want to play, then that is the game that we'll play. I've got unlimited rocket launcher ammo. I have no issues with taking on all of you people. I'll fight you all. Oh, look who it is. Getting up all close, are we? Huh? Huh? Mr. Belly Big Balls. I'll leave it. I'll leave it be as me versus your boss. Put up a fight. Excuse me. He says in the monster truck whilst I'm on foot with about 20 lieutenants of um, well, 20 of your peeps all on me. That's right. Sit down. Words. Go to hell. Sorry, didn't catch that. And this was the easiest final battle in the history of gameplay ever. Ultra Arena holds Bloodbath. But, you know, an equally easy 50k in the bank to La Shanghai. That's probably the easiest. And probably the shortest mission in the entire Brotherhood storyline. Definitely the easiest final mission by far. We got all these good bonuses similar similarly. Similarly. I can never say that word. Why can I never say that word? Um to the end of the Sons of Sambi storyline. <laughs> we got all those bonuses. And bonus I. And there we go. Alright, and our Phoenix is still here. Look at all this green. All this. Why did I say green? I have no idea why I said green. Look at all this purple, I should say. Pretty much the entirety of the southern, southern island, except for St. Shore, which is never given to us. And one Ronin territory. Um, and then there's pretty much all of the northern area, which you. Uh, northern island, which you can tell is pretty much just complete Ronin. <laughs> so, yeah, but we'll make our way up there soon enough. Okay, so now that that's done, we have little Shanghai, which is okay, here. Did it is. We have fuck me, fuck you, which is this one. So we'll buy up our final set of stores for the Brotherhood. Let's go find the main road first. Um, so obviously, between this storyline and the next, we are going to be doing the corporate warfare DLC. Which I think we will do at the end as in two episodes of time basically is what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna take this episode up until we would do the revelation mission, which is required for hundred percent. Although it's like it's sort of the first mission of the DLC. 
but it's also accessible to those without the DLC, so it is still required for 100%. And it's a really interesting one as well, so that'll be the first episode to do once we come back. And um, we've got Rusty's Needle, which is over here. It's going to let me get to it. Thank you. We have a decent amount of progress. We've done streaking already. We've done um, the final mission of the Brotherhood. We're going to pick up the final stars in the Brotherhood's final territory. Definitely one of the more interesting ones. I think my favourite gang in this game is the Brotherhood, if not the Sons of Sandy. Um, I think the Brotherhood are definitely the, the most badass. But like the Sons of Sandy, the Sons of Sandy holds my favourite mission in the game, which is Bad Trip, because that just that just makes me laugh so much. And finally, we have Rim Jobs. There we go. That is all the stores in this area. We have quite a big set of tags and CDs to collect. Um, if we go to Sunsinger, which is here, um, just to the north, which is this. Okay, um, the eastern side. We want to be about here, basically, for our first tag. I think this set that we're about to do now is the final set on the southern island, if I remember correctly, although probably not. But hey ho, maybe I'm right. Let's see here. Right, we're nearly there. I keep looking for the tanks, but... Um Okay, so <clears throat> Um what was it? She found a yellowish brown it's called American Assault. Um See when it's this one. I don't know. Probably. Let's just get it anyway. Okay, down. That's number thirty-five. That's correct. A uh, brick on the map looks straight south from the altar dome. We should see a white upside down L-shaped thing. Yep. That's there. <coughs> The southern side for the tag. Alright, okay. Okie dokie. Let's go and grab that. Oh, come on. Control. No, we're not doing that. Let's stick to the main road game. So we can crash into walls and shoot. Um, should be down. Yeah, indeed it is. Let's go snag this baby. Obviously we own all these territories, so... We're not gonna get any aggro. There we go, number 36. Now we're going to get another tag. In little Shanghai. Which is where we literally just were, so why we didn't start there, I have no idea. Uh, northwestern side, for sure, for me, for you. And it's literally in the back of this, so I mean we could have probably got it whilst we were actually buying the store, but ah well. Come on, come on now, control. Hey, 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 hey. Don't get involved. You need to get involved. Okay, come on. Hey! Control. Oh, I think I know what it, which one this is. Yeah, we drove past it like about 50 times. Also, we're doing the chop shops. Alright. 
So, this may be the last tag on the Southern Island. Which is pretty cool. Alright, it's number 37. Yeah, it is. That is the last tag on the Southern Island. We have three more... We have four more, sorry, CDs to collect as well. Um, to look at Little Shanghai, and there's a curve road that runs north to south in the middle of the neighbourhood. Yep. Um, head there, near the north end. Oh, right, yeah, I remember this one. Uh, we need to go for Fire Escape for this one. So let's just do a bit of a swivel around. Look for this fire escape. Uh, okay, so over a brick building on the north side of the road. This bottom level is reddish. So that's this one, is it? The one that we just went past. I think this is maybe what we need to be doing anyway, so. This is a fire escape, so I'd assume so. Um Not too sure. Maybe we've got to go to the top of there. Guess we'll find out, won't we? Uh, do, 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 do. Still nothing. Um... Don't quite know what we need to do. Huh. It's on a walkway. So I must have completely gone along the wrong one. Or something, I don't know. A walkway that goes across the street. I have no idea. Uh, hang on, let's just double check. It's near the north end of this road. Look for a brick building on the north side of the road. It's bottom level, it's reddish for the second level. It's more of a yellow brick. Uh, what? So it's on the north side of the road. Okay. Oh, so it's this one. Don't do that to me, please. It must be this one, I think. There's another fire escape here. Alright, so it's, it's got to be this one, hasn't it? Why are there so many fire escapes to confuse me? How would you do this? Come on. Oh, you go. Damn it, game. Um, ah, there it is. Found it. See, you know. You didn't see nothing. Alright, that's number 36. Alright, where's my phoenix? Whee. There you are. Okay. Number 37. Long road at the western side of Sparta. Yes, okay. The southernmost block. Watch the east for a little trip bay. Right, so we want to be down here or thereabouts. Okay, I'll go and grab that. So we've got three more CDs to collect. Too shabby. Nice little collectible run. Let's go down to the pool. That was fun. That side. Yay. Fun times. And we're coming up to it now, so there should be. There you go. Little CD area. CD in this area. Number 37. Very nice indeed.
Alright, so we want to head south into Southern Cross. Yes, underneath the train tracks, follow them east. Okay. We shall do so. You can see them there. So follow them east. Okay, uh, so the tracks you'll have to leave the road, I'll show you. It's there not the tracks. So is that here then? Yep, there it is. It's number 38, and the final one, final CD, is in Harrogate, um, which is in St. Jerome, so we need to go to Impressions, which is here. The non side of the neighbourhood from there, go back around and travel northeast of the sort of stairs. Oh, we'll just got the impression so we'll make our way forward from there. Now let's see, how long am I been recording for? Twenty three minutes, not even quite a long time. And I'm obviously cutting out even though it's only like about two minutes worth of running around. So it's doing pretty well. And we've only gotta do this and then there's a secret homie that we're going to obtain. I'm not going to spoil anything yet. And then, well, actually I might as well do the next mission. We'll do Revelation. Actually, no. No, I won't. I mean, this one, I guess this one should be a short one, won't it? Because we'll do the, the whole next section from Revelation onwards in one video, and then the whole DLC pack in the second video. I don't want one to be uh, like a normal issue. Actually, hang on, I'm just going to check. Let's do revelations, you go attack, CDs, and race. Ah, oh, no, no, yeah. Yeah, we'll finish um, with the secret army. Because I've like, uh, got to gotta schedule this out so that we can put all the DLC in one episode, because that's how I do it. So, head to Impression Terror, get near the northern side of the neighborhood from there, go back around and travel northeast. Push up five stairs when you press the building on your right, which should be. Okay. So, he's a look for a glass walkway. There, come on, we're crushing into absolutely every single thing that exists. Um, I think I remember seeing it though, it's near the Reese. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, there it is. I found it. I found it, I discovered it. There's number 39, and thus the final collectible on the southern island. Okay, so now we are going to head all the way down here. Even though I drove past about 50 times. So I'm just going to do a quick cut and I'll see you when we get there. Alright everyone, here we are. We are at this little buzz depot. Just to the south of the university. As you can see, this is where I am on the map. Now if we have a look right here. This eye for an eye called 555-5966. So, if we open our phone. We dial 555-5966. Five nine six six. Dude, like, whoa, what's going on there? Well, I think I thought it would have automatically come over. That's our homies. Go to the bottom. We have Zombie Carlos looking immensely scary. Um, really creepy. That adds that to your phone book. Obviously, Carlos is dead. I mean, and this is kind of like a little thing that um, Volition added to. I think, I mean, I can't remember off the top of my head if they had one in Saints Row 4, but they did it in Saints Row the 3rd, and in the original Saints Row, they had Lynn. 
zombie Lynn. Um, so we've got zombie Carlos, so we can obviously call him up. Really creepy that. And they come in a hearse of all cars. Ugh, that, this, is the, this is the hole going through the back of his head where the boss shot him. And that is just really creepy. That is just not pleasant to look at, so you can you can leave now, Carlos. Ugh, gives me the heebie jeebies. Um so that is everything that we are going to do for today. So let's just do a quick save. For seventy percent, which is obviously a step up. We've got one percent since last time, but we have finished off the Brotherhood, which is obviously like freaking amazing. Um, so yeah, and that is for twenty sixteen, the final Saints Row Two video I am going to upload. Obviously, there is the Skyrim episode coming up later on today. Uh, but after that, there'll be no more gaming videos till 2017. I'm having a break from recording next week. Um, you know, just to celebrate Christmas, celebrate New Year's, stuff like that. Um, so once we come back in 2017, the first episode will be on the. What was it? It'll be the Wednesday, won't it? No, the Tuesday. Which will be the 3rd of January, I believe. I'll just double check. It will indeed be the 3rd of January. Um, in that episode, we will be doing the mission revelation, and we'll do like all the tags and the races in Ron's Guide up to the start of the second DLC pack, which we'll all do in one episode. Now, I don't know how people like to watch this guide, whether they're doing it as a, as a walkthrough or if they're just watching it as a let's play. If you are watching it as a walkthrough and you don't have the second DLC pack, you should still watch the video that goes up on the Friday, because during the DLC, we will actually be picking up a CD and a secret area. So, but I'll give like a time frame for that if you're only interested in watching that bit. And I don't know why I'm telling you this now, because I mean, we've still got another two weeks until that thing's going to come out, and I might as well tell you the episode before. But I just thought I'd get it out of the way now. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and also be sure to share the video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in 2017. Bye, guys. Have a good Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Bye-bye.